Hello there everyone, my name is Cole and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at another starship that I built here in Minecraft. I built this ship over the course of about six and a half hours or so, using creative mode and world edit. Uh, I built this ship in a similar fashion as I did to the other ones that you see in the background, uh, which is I built half the ship and then used an editor like world edit in this case uh, to copy what I built and then mirror it over to the other side. This is a medical support ship, and as such, it doesn't have any weapons on it. Uh, it does have two types of crew on it. It has a navigation crew to get the ship where it needs to go, and then a medical crew to deal with the patients once they get there. Uh, so we'll go inside and we'll have a look. Um, we can access the ship through the aft, sec uh, aft section of the ship, um, just up this ramp here. Immediately when we come in, we see the crew quarters. We have the medical crew quarters right here, and uh, the navigation crew quarters right here. Uh, they are pretty sparsely decorated, and they are decorated in a similar fashion. Um, there are four bunks here for the navigation crew, and then three bunks for the uh, medical staff over here. Um, I'll talk a bit more about that in, uh, when we look at the bridge, though. Um, so right here is the, the doctor, or the main medical portion of the ship. Uh, we'll look at this in just a second. Uh, right here is the crew teleporter. Um, this is also fairly basic. We have a computer console right here for the engineer to teleport people um, on and off the ship. And then a, a two-person or two, uh, two teleport. It has two teleportation pads to teleport uh, crew members on and off the ship, uh, as well as supplies. Um, as I mentioned, this is a, a support ship. Um, it's not designed for long-term patient care. Um, all of the patient beds are here in the main part of the ship, um, centered all around this doctor's workstation. Um, so here the doctor can run their tests that they need to do um, and see the results here on this heads-up display, as well as look at all of the patient's uh, current status and information back here on this console. As I mentioned, the purpose of the ship is it's not long-term patient care. Uh, it's designed for, um, you know, if the Federation is colonizing a planet and uh, the inhabitants fall sick, or, you know, if they're flying through space and they notice that um, a, a, a world's population has fallen ill, uh, this ship here is here to really provide support for them. It's really the equivalent to uh, a flying emergency room. Uh, there is an operation theater um, right in here. Uh, this operation room has a patient's bed, as well as a, a console for the doctors and other medical staff, a spot for their tools, and a, a body scanner right here. Uh, this allows them, uh, the medical staff to put a patient in here, um, scan them, find out what's wrong with them, and then immediately fix it over here on the operation table. Back over here, we have the chief medical officer's room. Depending on the type of mission, um, this would be used either as a patient's room to deal with uh, psychiatric type problems, or it's where the, uh, the chief medical officer uh, will sleep when they're off duty. Um, right here is a desk where they can discuss with the patient or the patient's family the current status of whatever's going on with them, um, as well as give any sort of diagnosis or, or what have you. Uh, back here is just storage. Um, it's the, uh, the fuel cells for the reactor core, uh, as well as any sort of medical supplies um, and equipment back over in here. This is the uh, main engineering. All of these here work. Um, they work, meaning they turn lights on and off. <laughs> uh, so this is the, the main control function for the reactor. Um, and this is the main reactor right here. I built a, a horizontal reactor, um, whereas with the other starships that I built, they've all been vertical. Um, I wanted to try something different. I'm not 100% happy with this, this design, um, but it, it was just kind of an experiment. If I had to do it over again, I would have built it vertically um, and then used up here uh, for storage. Um, right here, this is a, a secret access switch um, that takes you into storage that runs all underneath the ship. Um, this is used in case that the starship gets uh, attacked and boarded by pirates. It allows them to hide patients, hide crew members, um, and hide their, their valuable medical supplies um, out of the view um, of the pirates. Um, back in these rooms, it's, just, it's really just redstone access. I've thrown in a console here. Um, there's nothing really fancy about here. Uh, about this setup, really it's just redstone being pulled through blocks um, and sent back through to, to light up um, the comparators um, uh, right here. Uh, let me just break this here and get in. Um, for the switch here, I needed to, I had a bit of a problem right here. So I wanted to have hidden storage right here uh, that popped in uh, underneath the ship, but I'm right out on the ground right here. 
And uh, if I go back this way, we're outside on the ship as well. So I needed to hide, I needed this to open up, and the only way to do that in vanilla Minecraft is to either use pistons or command blocks. And I didn't have the space to use pistons, um, so I just used command blocks. And so what happens is uh, uh, two command blocks right here um, with a redstone uh, torch here that inverts when you pull the lever, um, turns on and off when you, depending on the position of the lever. One just fills relative coordinates, which is that, that area back up over in here. Um, it fills it with hardened clay. Um, and down here, this one just fills it with air. So when the lever is pulled, the um, this area right here turns to air and allows you to access it. And when you pull this off, the redstone torch behind it turns on and uh, and fills this back up with hardened clay. Um, I still wanted to have the piston sound, so I just stuck a piston back there as well. There's also a uh, gallery. Um, this is where patients, uh, family members, and friends would wait um, while um, you know while somebody's being looked after. Um, there's two windows here where you can look outside, either into space um, or out into the planet, depending on uh, where the ship happens to be. There's a little lounge area, um, a table, and then food dispensers here and a drink dispenser over there. So we'll go ahead up and uh, look at the bridge here now. As I mentioned before, there are four um, four crew member beds for the, for the navigation crew, um, but only three workstations here if you include uh, the captain's chair. So the captain's chair has a heads-up display, and then there's a, a workstation for sensors, and then a workstation for, for navigation. Um, if this ship needs to be somewhere in a hurry, having a crew complement of four essentially allows the team to fly um, using rotating shifts um, and get there without having to stop and break and take a break. So we'll just head back outside here right now, and uh, we'll discuss some more about the ship. So we're just back outside here. Uh, overall, I am fairly happy with the way that this build turned out. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos, I tend to, whenever I'm building something, I always build the most important part of the structure first, um, and then work out from there. Um, and so for this one, to me, the most important part of the structure uh, was the hull itself. Um, overall, I'm very happy with the way that the hull turned out. Um, I really enjoy the, the look and feel of it. Um, the problem with building it that way is I built the hull first um, and then went inside and then attempted to furnish it. Um, so it made doing certain parts of the build, such as hiding lighting, um, putting in pistons and other redstone and such, much more difficult, and I had to resort to using command blocks. Um, I, I like to use command blocks, but generally for this type of build, I enjoy to have the, the pistons and such uh, visible so that you can go in and have a look at the redstone. It kind of gives it a bit more sci-fi of a feel to let you know that, you know, it's not all computer generated. There are still some uh, nuts and bolts to how the starship works. Um, I'm not too, too keen on the color scheme for this ship. Um, I really wish that hardened clay um, was much more vibrant, um, that the yellows were more yellow and that the oranges were more orange. Um, but overall, I like how the blocks are seamless together. Um, I know I can use the texture pack, and I've tried using a couple texture packs um, in the past or so, but haven't been too happy with them. But overall, um, the only thing that I would probably change about the ship if I had to do it again, I would probably go with a different color design. I know I can use World Edit to, uh, to copy the entire ship um, and change the, the color schematic, um, but it's not so much that I want to change the colors that are used, it's just I'd rather them be much more vibrant. Anyway, I hope you like what you see. Uh, thanks for watching, and have yourself a great day. Bye for now.